iTuners. Welcome in the next episode of Stage X Academy. In this series, we are giving you practical knowledge on how to do various calibrations on your own with the support of Stage X platform. Today, we will focus on another very popular topic, the hard cut rev limiter for diesel engines, better known as Popborn. Before we jump to the system, some theory which stand behind this topic. First of all, I want to mention that every diesel engine has a function that limits the maximum engine speed. This is very important because the characteristics of diesel engines might lead to a very dangerous engine runaway. In that scenario, the engine draws unintentional fuel, leading to over-revving, which might result in the damage of pistons, piston rods, or the entire engine block. To avoid that situation, every manufacturer includes engine speed limitation, which usually is realized by quantity or torque limitation. The limiters for diesel engines are done in a soft manner when the engine hit the speed limiter. It does not generate jerky behavior because of resume and cut fuel. What we want to achieve today is a situation where the fuel will be cut and restored immediately, generating an expected popcorn sound. As an example for this project, we'll use EDC 16C39 from Alfa Romeo, 2-liter diesel engine. Okay guys, let's jump into Stage X. I have already created a new project and uploaded the file from the ECU. Now, I am looking for a directory called Injection System, where we have all the quantities of torque limitations that are present in our ECU. Let's walk through the available maps. First, what we found is the map maximum fuel quantity injected. As we can see the value is set at 100 cubic millimeters. The second map refers to the jump start or limp mode situation. Then we have the fuel correction factors, those are defined by fuel temperature, so in our case they won't be usable. Also, the fuel collection by intake air temperature won't be useful for today's task. The next map is the maximum fuel quantity injected in the function of engine temperature and engine speed, and that is the map that we are looking for. Let's start here. By entering the zero value, I am changing the absolute value to zero. As a next step, I am adjusting the map axis for engine speed to make sure that our change will be applied in the desired range. I would like to set it for 4,499 RPM. This will give us a behavior that when the engine speed crosses the entered value, the fuel will be cut, making the expected popcorn limiter. But we can go further with the calibration. Next map we're looking for is 2D map with 100 cubic millimeters of fuel limiter here. The next map is torque to fuel quantity conversion, which is a map containing the engine RPM. Let's also cut the fuel here by entering an absolute value to zero and repeating the previous step. Also, I am adjusting axis by setting the last value to 4,500 RPM, and here we can enter 4,499 RPM. This map is the most popular quantity limitation map for the EDC-16 family, so tuners often use that map to achieve a popcorn rev limiter. We can edit a value absolutely to zero in order to achieve a fuel cut and then again edit the axis. In that case, we want to have the rev limiter set to 4200 RPM and the previous value on the RPM axis set at 4195 that gap between the values will be also dependent on what we want to achieve. If the rev limiter has to be very fast, the gap should be reduced to 1 RPM. But of course, we can try different values to achieve different effects. Having that done is fully enough to achieve the desired effect. Now it only depends on your creativity and the expected results how you do such calibration. But remember that cars with the modified exhaust will generate much louder popcorn sound over the stock cars where the results will be more subtle. Okay, that would be it. Let's export the file and upload it to our car to validate the results. As you can see, thanks to this tutorial, you've learned which maps needs to be adjusted to easily activate the hard cut rev limiter for diesel cars. Hope you enjoyed this episode and remember that we are waiting for your comments, questions and suggestions about what you would like to see in future lessons. See ya in the next episode of Stage X Academy.